and welcome to day nine. So today, well, we're in a new cozy corner of the studio and we're going to be finding your center. So a really great and important principle of Pilates is centering. Some people call it the powerhouse, core stability, zip up and hollow but it's this sense of, that we've already worked it throughout the series of really just feeling the connection to the muscles that wrap around your spine, your trunk, from your shoulders to your hips, finding that strong center and then we move out from there. So we've got lots of mat, core work, ab work, and then we're gonna test it out with some balancing at the end. So let's begin, we're gonna start in a seated position and we're just gonna bring our legs out to the front of us here. And we're gonna use our arms to really create a bit of a deeper connection to our center. So I want you to hold the backs of your legs and really hold them so you can feel that your arms are working a little bit, your back is working to keep you upright, but you're not tensing. So we'll just take a few deep breaths here and we're gonna do a little bit of ab connection but without moving the spine. So maybe close down the eyes, bring yourself onto your mat today for day nine, you're here again. We're moving and breathing and finding our center. So take a deep breath in through the nose. And as you breathe out, you're gonna draw your belly button back towards your spine, but you're also gonna think of drawing it up as well a little bit. So think of like closing up and in from your pubic bone up to your abdominals. And then we inhale again. Remember that breath that we found the other day, that sideways lateral breathing. And keeping relaxed, we draw in and up. If you kind of feel like, it's like you're trying to, lots of people will talk about the pelvic floor is like trying to stop yourself going to the, to the we. So it's that sort of pulling in, 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 feeling that control, and then you can let it go again as well, okay? So let's practice that one more time. We're gonna breathe in to prepare, and then we, as we breathe out, we're gonna feel that connection, that gentle zipping up. And then we're gonna inhale. This time we're gonna create a C curve. So again, we're holding the arms and we're going to curve the spine. So we're shoulders over the hips. We're creating this, drawing in through the tummy, the tailbone tucks under, both ends of your spine are elongating into a C curve. And then we're gonna come up. And then again, we're going to round and we're gonna feel the tailbone going that way and the head going that way, but you're not moving your shoulders back, you're keeping them over your hips, but the C-curve is about lengthening the spine, drawing in through that center, and then use those arms to re-come up. So again, we're going back, and we're drawing the tailbone under, we're drawing in and up. Try not to squeeze your thighs or your bottom that much, I just want you to feel it through the joints, through the spine, and into the center the center, the center, the center. Think of the center of your being. And then you're restacking. And you can really feel the work, even this small movement. So now we're gonna take it back a bit further. So we're gonna practice our rollbacks really deeply today. We've already done them in the series, but we do them a lot in my classes, but we're gonna practice. So we find that C curve. Now you're gonna think about rocking off the pelvis. I'm gonna keep hold of my thighs and just go to here, just rocked off the pelvis. So I've kept that C curve, I've then allowed myself to go back, I'm holding my legs, I'm going to inhale, we're gonna deepen the curve. Okay, and then we're gonna exhale, deepen more the curve as we come up, use those arms against those legs, sit tall. Good, so you could even feel like you're sort of pulling, your legs wanna go apart, but you're, you're really holding them in line there, or they're trying to come in and you're pulling them apart, so there's this sort of like, tension here through the legs, but not gripping in the thighs, or this, not tension, more this sort of traction, I like to say. So let's get a little bit more going into that now. Four more, so we round. Curving, we go back, tucking your pelvis under, scooping, really try and get this attention to detail as we lift back to Using those back extensors, find that C curve, break it down for me, take it back, curling under, I'm using my arms, I'm just straightening those arms today, I'm keeping them there, and then we're deepening that connection, and we're coming up. Good, we're gonna go again, we're gonna find that C curve, 
We're using that traction, hands against the legs, and we're tipping back, checking that we're not wavering left to right. And then deepen in that center for me. Hold, hold, hold. Then come up after you've deepened that center and you're lifting toward the top. Now we're gonna add some arms. So again, we're gonna find that deep C curve, find that center. Okay, now we're going to see if we can hold on with one arm, the left arm, without moving anything, without losing that connection to the center, your right arm is gonna open, but nothing else moves. And then we're coming in. So this is testing our center because as we take the arm out, the temptation is gonna be to come out of that C curve, to tip that way, to let the knee open, but all you're gonna do for me is keep the body still and you're gonna open the arm. So I'm sort of using the other hand like a little bit of a anchor. It's tough, okay? So we're gonna exhale open, inhale, bring it in. Keep curving, exhale open, inhale, bring it in. Can you tuck under a bit more? Exhale, open. Inhale, I can really feel myself wanting to tip. Open, Whew. close, and then we refine. We deepen as we curve up, and we sit tall. Well done. Now, we're gonna bring ourselves nice and close to our heels, and we're going to roll down. So we're gonna hold the front of our shins, and we're gonna find that deep C curve again. We're probably already in it a little bit, that's fine. And then we're gonna start to roll to the mat. Slowly, slowly, I'm using that traction. My feet are staying on the floor. And then I'm gonna take my hands off and we're gonna lay down using that center. Good, so let's just check we're nice and level on the mat. So we've got our feet and hips in line and we've got that nice balanced pelvis, hip bones, pubic bone, belly button, nice and level. Hands on the tummy and we're just gonna take a deep breath here into the hands. And then as you exhale, we need to draw the abdominals away from your hands. Without changing the spine, we'll take two more. Inhale and exhale, draw in the abdominals gently away from the hands. And that same feeling of zipping up a little bit. Let's take one more, inhale and exhale. And now I just want you to try and inhale and draw the abdominals in as well. And then exhale, keep connecting. So as you inhale, you're trying to split those ribs apart and draw the abdominals in towards you, away from your hands. And as you exhale, you close the ribs and you deepen that abdominal. So this is where we find that internal support system. We're trying to keep a, a gentle, subtle connection and stability on the inhale and the exhale. So now we're gonna take a breath in again, preparing and supporting. And as we exhale, the right knee is gonna open. And as we inhale, it's gonna close, but we're still connecting and centering. Exhale, we open the left knee and we inhale to close. So the whole time we're keeping this rib to hip connection. This is a good test as well. Fingers pointing down, thumbs where your ribs are, keeping that same distance between the ribs and the fingers, between the thumbs and the fingers. So you're not allowing the ribs to stick out. You've got the back of the ribs on the mat. And at the same time, we're stabilizing across the pelvis. Good, so you can just think of it as simply connecting to the center without letting that whole trunk move, hip to hip, shoulder to shoulder. I want you to really check that the pelvis isn't rocking to the side. One more to each side. So these simple exercises are so good to just pay attention to, to really check in and they're gonna really help with our other work as well. Good, and bringing it up. Now we're gonna do that exercise that we did the other day in Move and Breathe, where we roll into our spine curl. So draw the abdominals up. So we're gonna add two of these exercises together, the knee drop and a fly with the arm that we did in the rollback. So we're just increasing the level here. We're in our pelvic curl, the hips are tucked under, the arms are gonna float up, palms press in. So the knee drop and the fly. So we're gonna open and close. And what I want you to do is inhale this time as you open 
and exhale this time as you close, okay? Don't get too hung up on the breath today because remember we're finding the center. That's what we're gonna prioritize, but the breath is important to help us find that deepening on the exhalation. But we also are stable and find our center on the inhale. Good, so we're just alternating here. All I want you to do is keep stable in the trunk by drawing in through that center. Good. So I know this first part of the class is lots of concentration, lots of detail. I promise we'll get a little bit more moving in a moment. One more to each side. Don't let that pelvis rock. Good. And then let's roll it down through the back all the way through that spine, keeping that center working, and then drop that tail back to your neutral. Good, let's interlace the hands. We're gonna come into a little curl up series. So, well, I think I've got a little bit wonky on my mat, so we're gonna just adjust there. So we're gonna bring our hands behind our head. We're gonna come into some curl ups. So we've already done these, but we're gonna practice them again. Working into that center, we're gonna add a few things on. So, curling the head, neck and chest up. Inhaling as we come down. Good, sorry. And we go again. Exhaling as we curl up. Breathing out. Inhaling as we come down. I want you to check that you've got that little cup of tea balancing on your pelvis. You don't want to spill it towards you. Don't want to spill it away from you. You're going to keep it nice and balanced. Or maybe it's a cup of hot chocolate, cup of coffee, whatever you feel like you want today. Maybe it's a margarita. Maybe it's a mold wine we can imagine good and on this next one we're going to hold it up there we're going to keep that center so keep that whatever beverage you've got there float the right leg up float the left leg up float the right foot down float the left foot down and rebalance back with the head and we go again breathing out Breathing in, breathing out. Other leg comes up first. Breathing in, breathing out, and breathing in. So it's a little double knee fold. We go again. We curl the tips of the shoulders off. We float the right leg. Don't let that spill. Left leg. Keeping the breath, keeping the center. And inhale. We go back. We've got one more. We're nodding the chin. We're curling deep. Keep that little plum space between the chin and your chest. We float one leg. Now keep that balance. Float the other leg, it's so hard. Now we're gonna take single leg stretches, but without moving the other leg in. So we're keeping really controlled with the detail today. We're reaching through the foot, but the other knee is gonna stay nice and still. I can feel it. <laughs> Good. So you're trying to keep that knee just different to the single leg stretch where you're bringing the knee in close, okay? So you're just taking that leg out. You're keeping the other knee completely still. You're keeping that center, balancing that T. Ribs closing down towards the hips. I know it's tough. We've got one more there. And then we're gonna relax. So we always wanna take just little moments to breathe and relax and kind of let ourselves breathe before we refine that center again. Now we're going to add a little oblique twist and then we're going to add the two together. Okay, so let's regather. Let's bring the feet back down so we get into it. Again, really focusing on good positioning. So we're coming up, curling the tips of the shoulders. We're going to breathe in, float one leg, float the other leg into that tabletop. Now we're going to reach up and over right Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Now the challenge here, again, is not to let those legs move around or that pelvis rock left to right. So it's one shoulder coming up and across towards the opposite hip. Inhale, exhale. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, one, and hug the knees. Breathe for a moment. Now we're gonna add that leg stretch with that twist, but keep it really controlled, really small and detailed. 
So we'll have a breather. We'll bring the feet down again. We'll check back with our pelvis, checking our alignment. Hands go back behind the head without letting those ribs flare. Breathing in. Exhale, curling up, feeling it into those abdominals. Balance the cup of tea. We float the legs. Now we're going to go right and the left leg extends, come back, rotate left, right leg extends. So really slow, up and over, keep that center, rotate from the middle, from the chest. Try not to rock the pelvis. One more to each side. And hug it in. Well done, everyone. Good job, just let yourself breathe for a minute. Give your hips a little hug. Maybe the thighs are a bit grippy, but that's, you know, that can happen. Just give them a little release, hug them in, release them out. Try and bring it into the center if that happens. So we're gonna come into our roll-ups. Okay, and then we're gonna add a little double leg lower, okay. So we're gonna stretch the legs out along the mat now. We're gonna do this nice rolling up and down through the spine. So really finding that internal support system and that work through the spine and through our center. The legs are stretched away, arms are gonna reach back. We're going to start to inhale, the arms lift, head curls up, we press the low back down and we roll all the way up and over those legs. And then we come down again from there through the spine, reaching out bone by bone, and the arms come back, gather the ribs. So this is what I really want you to focus on today. As the arms go back, don't let the ribs flare up because we've got that lovely connection. Inhale, reach through the legs, exhale, coiling in, curving. Now find that C curve that we found earlier, deepen it as we go over those legs. Now you don't restack here, you keep that C curve and we go down through the spine. So you could always practice by bending the knees. Reach out through those legs as you come down. Remember those ribs for me as the arms go back. Good, and again, we curl up. Can you draw the tummy in? Can you press the low back down? Can you reach out through those legs as you go up and over? Really lovely stretch for the back of the body, for the back of the legs, and we come down again. Try not to let those shoulders bunch up by the ears. Imagine you're holding something in your hands, nice and level, low back down, reach through the legs, arms go back. Good, rolling up into the center, coiling up, breathing out, using that connection to the breath to find a deeper connection to your abdominals. Good, now we're going down. Try not to let those legs ping away from you, reach them out. Good, and we've got one more. Press that low back down. Smoothly rolling up and over those legs. And we're coming down. Shoulders away from the ears. Now we're gonna slide the feet in and up. We're gonna reach those arms up, reach those hands behind the head. And we're gonna take little double toe taps here. We're gonna inhale and exhale. Chest is lifted, inhale and exhale. You can always just take singles or try those doubles, maybe they don't touch the floor, but you're gonna really try and keep that cup of tea nice and still. See, if I'm really, really true to myself, I can't go too low or I can, gotta really fight for it, it's hard to talk at the same time. Let's do four more. Four. Three, double toe taps, legs squeezing together. Keep that chest lifted, two more. Inhale down, exhale, last one and relax. Well done, we have really found our center. So what we're gonna do is we're going to challenge, I'm just gonna scoot down my mat a bit. We're gonna challenge that with some different positions now. We're gonna come into a sideline movement and then some planking to come up and then a bit of balance at the top. So we are gonna come onto our side. We're gonna do a little oyster. So we've definitely found that center. Now we're going to come onto the side and we're gonna find a little high oyster. So we're in a little side plank, hand is away from the body, and we're gonna lift our hips up and we're gonna do a little set of oysters. So what we're doing is we're sort of challenging the shape of the exercise, what else is going on, but the, the principles of 
of what we've just worked on the mat are the same, okay? 20 on each side for me. So find that connection to the shoulder, the center, breathe in, breathe out, lift your hips up, squeeze your bottom, and we open and close 20 times. Okay, so repeating here. So it's that same knee opening that we found earlier on the back without letting the whole pelvis dip and move around. You don't want that trunk to move around. You wanna hold that center, pushing your hips in. Okay, we've got 10 more. 10, nine, eight, squeezing those glutes. The glutes are part of your core. You've got six, five, Four, three, two, hold it there for one and press your hips forward. Check that hip is forward and then up and down. Just 10, nine, eight, don't let the whole body move. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and control it down. Good, other side, let's just gently bring the legs around, little transition. So, feet are together, hands is a little bit away from the body. We lift our hips, we keep them level. Imagine you were laying on your back, and here we go again. 20 here. Heels together. Good. Breathe. Last 12. 10. Nine, seven, six, five. It's a challenging position. Four, but we've connected. Three, two, opening your chest. Hold for one. Little ups and downs. Squeeze your underneath bottom. Keep the top hip forward. You've got ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and lower with control those hips down well done now we're just going to do a little bit of a plank and we're going to do our little push-up we're going to walk up to standing and then testing balance in standing i put some cream on my body and it's gone all over the mat oh dear so let's just come onto all fours okay so we're gonna just first of all take our lovely tabletop. So it's one of the simplest but really, really good exercises to do. It's kind of like up in those top 10 Pilates exercises that if you just do them every day, you're gonna be solid. And obviously we love to be creative and change things up. But this one, I think is a great one to come back to every time. So it's your tabletop, or some people call it Superman or Bird Dog but we're gonna just alternate, and this is an excellent exercise to challenge your center. Keeping that shoulder to shoulder, hip to hip, that squareness, that box. Okay, and of course we're feeling other parts of the body working, but prioritizing that balance. Good, so we could inhale, exhale, Inhale, exhale. Inhale, just keeping that rhythm. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, reach, connect, exhale. Try not to go out to the side. Inhale, exhale. One more in here, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, good, tuck your toes under and then hover your knees, drawing your center in. Step your right leg back, step your left leg back. Look at that, we're in a plank. We're strong and centered, we're lifting our hips. Now you're gonna take three steps with your hands to get back to your feet. So I love to do this one in my live classes. So we go one, two, three, we're back in and then we're gonna roll up to standing. So it's really testing that balance stability. We're gonna roll those shoulders open, look tall. We're gonna coil in just like that, roll up as we go down. And we're gonna take three steps out to get to plank. So it's quite challenging. You go one, try not to wobble the hips, two, three, you're in your plank. Then we're gonna come back in. One, two, three. And we're softening the knees, we're coming up. Head in, we're rolling up. And we're gonna go again, rolling down, breathing out. Up and over. 
three steps. Maybe use the other hand. Oh, I haven't done that. One in a while, two, three. It can feel quite different to go with the other hand first. One, two, three. And we're rolling up. So maybe you, today you're taking five steps with the hands. Then you could try four. Then you could try three if you want to. Let's do it one more time. That's the challenge. We're going down. So you've got to find this sort of up and over through the center to take that first leap with the hand, that first step. Try not to wobble those hips. I think mine were a bit wobbly there. One, two, three. We're in and we're up, slowly up, ground in and coming tall. Okay, so we're gonna stand and just do a little bit of balancing work to test all of that mat work in our standing. So bring your feet a touch closer together, grow tall, find that box, find that squareness. Transfer your weight onto one foot, lift the other heel. Now that might just be where you're balancing today, or you're gonna see if you can bring the leg up. We're gonna hold the thigh, and we're gonna open the leg to the side. So this is gonna really help us with our dynamic work, our hip sessions, our lunges, our standing on one leg, and then we're gonna bring that leg down. Okay, so nice and stable. Other side, we're gonna stand on that leg, bring the leg up from that pelvic floor, from that center. Keeping your eyes focused as you open the leg, just the knee, remember? We practice this, we practice this. <laughs> so, you can do it. Don't forget about it now. Calm. Remember, it's just that leg opening, not the whole body the same time the other leg is grounding down. Thank you so much for staying with me today because I know that this deeper attention to the work can take a lot of patience and a lot of concentration. So you've done amazing to stay with it. And we are changing things up tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna do something quite fun. So you've got that to look forward to. But I hope you're enjoying the variety of the classes and I'll see you again tomorrow. Well done guys, goodbye.